This lecture will explain the rule of biconditional introduction. So we use the rule of biconditional introduction when we want to derive a biconditional. And the way the rule works is this. First, we assume the left-hand side of the biconditional. And we use that assumption to derive the right-hand side of the biconditional. Next, we assume the right-hand side of the biconditional and use that assumption to derive the left-hand side of the biconditional. And we cite the, the lines that we cite in the rule of biconditional introduction are, first, the line that contains the derivation of the right-hand side of the biconditional then the line that contains the derivation of the left-hand side of the biconditional. Let's see how this works in a proof. Consider the following proof. If H, if and only if I and J, if I then H, therefore H, if and only if I. So obviously since our conclusion is a biconditional, and it's not a biconditional we have up in our premises, we're going to want to derive this via biconditional introduction. So we'll start out by assuming H. And we're going to try to get to I. So if we have H, then we can get I and J by biconditional elimination on lines 1 and 3. And if we have I and J, then we can get I by AND elimination on line 4. And then we put that in a box. Next, we assume I. And we try to get to H. Well, that's, that's quite easy because we can get that by arrow elimination on line 2 and sit using lines 2 and 6 and we put that in a box so then we are ready to conclude H if and only if I and that's we cite lines 5 and 7 